Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. My name is Gigi and today Sagittarius I'll be doing your September 2023 reading. How exciting. Anyway Sagittarius I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. I hope you're all doing fantastic. With your September reading I will be covering love, career, finances and your energy. So Sagittarius let's get down to business. Let's have a look at what's what September is going to reveal for you for 2023. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all of you. So thank you very much, Sagittarius. Excellent. All right, let's get started with your September reading. Excellent. Okay, Sagittarius, your first energy card. Wow. We have the Ace of Wands. Excellent. Followed by the Four of Cups. And we also have the Five of Wands. Excellent. So the big energy here, Sagittarius, you've got three cards for energy. Let's first talk about the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is also beautiful. The most amazing brand new beginning, Sagittarius. So do expect brand new beginnings in September with things that you are very, very passionate about. Think about projects that you are passionate about, including love too. So it just have, doesn't have to be just career, can also be love. If you have passion for a new love, a new partner, a certain individual, it's going to be an amazing beginning. So this is amazing. Also for some, because remember the energy will not resonate with everyone. So take in only what resonates. You also have the four of cups. Now, if you have been feeling bored and inspired at the moment, things are going to change. Absolutely. Because the universe, you see here, the cup here, it's when the universe presents you with something and you start to feel alive again. You start to feel really, really happy again too. Remember the four of cups does mean months too. So it can be from now up to four months here. So you're going to get out of this boredom, this uninspired, feeling um, stagnant, feeling just like in a routine, that's going to change. So keep your eyes and ears open because the universe is going to present you, is that an opportunity is definitely going to come to you, Sagittarius. Then we also have the five of wands here. Now the five of wands is the energy of arguments, people fighting, people gossiping, um, spreading rumors, just um, being selfish too also. So there is a bit of energy with the cutthroat industry, you know, each to their own. You can avoid all of this Sagittarius. If you do find that you're currently in the energy of this, the best thing you can do is to walk away from this energy because it doesn't serve you. Don't waste your energy on situations that you feel that it's not worth fighting for too. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look at Sagittarius, your love, your first three love cards. Let's have a look at your love. What can we expect for love for Sagittarius? Excellent. The first card for love, wow. We have the Nine of Cups here, beautiful. Followed by Seven of Cups. And the Six of Swords, beautiful. So let's talk about first the Nine of Cups here. So the Nine of Cups is the minor arcana of the star here. It's about wish fulfillment, celebrations too. This is also the card of pregnancy too. Just like the Empress, the Nine of Cups represents nine months here. When there's a pregnancy and it goes through its full term of nine months here. So yes, you could be, for some, they could be starting a family with a certain um, individual, thinking about starting a family, um, having children around you. This is excellent too. Also, this is about when you're single too and you're meeting someone too. Meeting someone, celebrating, sharing common interests, sharing the same interests, the same goals. It's like both of you can like finish each, each other's sentences too, which is pretty amazing too. But then we also have the Seven of Cups here. For some, I feel like you may be indecisive with a certain individual or indecisive about your current love life too, in the sense, perhaps for some, you're like, should I go out with this person? Should I break up with this person? Should I give this person a chance? 
your head's a little bit in the clouds at the moment because you don't know what to do with a certain individual or you don't know what to do with your love life at the moment. For some Sagittarius, what you can do is to ground yourself. If you ground yourself and you look at the pros and the cons of each option that you have, you will be able to make a decision, but a logical decision also. So you may be, for some, you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with emotions, afraid to make a decision, afraid to lose someone also. Sagittarius, you cannot make a wrong decision. If you take the advice, if you ground yourself, you will be able to make a decision too. Now, you also have the seven of swords here. For some, okay, now remember, only take in what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. For some, I feel like you will be walking away from someone or or you will be walking away from troubled times too. So I am picking up more than two meanings here. So again, if you've been going through a relationship with that's been very, very challenging, I do feel for some that you will be walking away from the relationship, moving away from challenges, moving away from the negativity, the toxicity also, and going somewhere else too. This is also that means traveling too, traveling overseas, traveling interstate too. But if currently too, if you're in a relationship, you're both of you are going to be moving away from troubling times, moving away from the bad energy. You both are going to be progressing and moving forward too. If traveling is definitely not in the cards, I feel both of you are going to be also progressing and moving forward your relationship and getting away from certain toxic situations and people too. If you are single too, I do feel like you're going to be moving forward because you know now what you want. You know that, okay, I'm not going to put up with this. I'm going to start doing this for myself, which is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Okay, Sagittarius, let's have a look at your career. What does Sagittarius have in store for career? September 2023. Okay, Korea. First card, we have the Page of Swords, followed by, again, the Page of Wands. Ooh, two pages, lots of messages, followed by the Emperor. Excellent. This is excellent. So Sagittarius, with the Page of Swords, this is all about small messages too. Think about small messages like emails to something small. Now, usually all pages are someone younger than you, someone young at heart. Now, with your career, there may be some challenging news coming your way. There could be restructuring, some some type of change coming. However, though, this type of change, it's not going to hurt you, but it is going to give you some form of clarity. You may be given, sorry, you may be presented options. You may be given some sort of choices to what you want to do. And with the page of sword, it's, it is going to give you clarity. So you don't have nothing to worry about. Remember, always welcome these um, challenging news because like I said, it's going to make you more it's going to make you be able to make better decisions. You're going to be able to make a decision and move forward from there. You're actually going to avoid making any mistakes too. With the page of wands too, you're going to be receiving really good news about your projects too. Things that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about a business, running a side hustle, you're going to get some good news too. Small messages. Remember, Sometimes for things to progress, especially businesses or side hustles or a YouTube channel, it does take time, time to mature, but you will be receiving small good messages, even for employees too. If you're working for someone, you're still going to get a good news. This could be from anything like a promotion, a pay rise, even though it's small, it's a start of something fantastic, Sagittarius. Then we also have the emperor. This is Aries energy. OK, for some, I do feel like for some of you, you will be running your own business. You're going to take that leap of faith and run your own business, too. You are a natural born leader. For some, you love to lead. You like to make your own decisions. Why? Because you're very structured and very disciplined, too. This does require for you to be very structured, too. Really um, stand up. In other words, in, in other words, walk the talk. OK, 
For others, I do feel you may be dealing with, you, uh, for, sorry, for others, like people that work for someone else, you're going to be dealing with someone too that is of a fire sign, Aries, someone that you can trust, someone that kind of like does demand the work to be done too, because this person is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. So this person, don't, don't get me wrong, they mean well, but they also expect results too. They can give really good advice too. They're very generous with their, um, with like creativity, with their thoughts. They're always there to lend a hand. So overall, I will say this, that career-wise, it looks absolutely fantastic too. It's not like the, I don't see loss of a jobs or anything like that. Yes, there will be some news too, good and some challenging, but it's nothing that you cannot handle, Sagittarius. Now, let's have a look at your finances too. Let's have a look at finances. Excellent. Sagittarius, your first card, you have the Two of Cups, followed by, excellent, the Chariot, and the Ten of Cups. Excellent. Well, I can definitely say for sure there is no money loss, Sagittarius. <laughs> There's no money loss here. However, though, money, there's going to be a very, very strong foundation in terms of your money. I feel like there's going to be someone that's going to help you, give you really good financial advice. Now, this can be your partner. This can be a parent, a friend, literally anyone, someone that means well. So for, for example, if you are single, this could be someone that you probably know that works with you. Or if you're in a relationship, this could be someone that you're married to or you're in a relationship with. And you're going to build a very, very strong foundation. There's also very, very fast news coming towards you with the chariot. This is cancer energy. This is very, very fast. I'm talking about this is fast messages coming towards you. Now, because I am talking about finance, there's going to be news about your money, an increase of money. Nothing that you have to worry about because this is really good news too. This may also mean... Um, messages from overseas. So if you work and travel overseas constantly, there's going to be really good news coming your way. Now, if you know for sure that you don't work and travel, that kind of stuff, what this also means that there's going to be really still good news coming your way. Whatever you're working on, whether it's your current job, a business or a side hustle, there's still excellent news coming your way. Sagittarius, fantastic. Then we also have the Ten of Cups here. With the Ten of Cups, this is your happily ever after. The happy home life, happy family, happy friends, happy pets too, included too. You can see the cat in the corner. But I do feel, Sagittarius, that you're going to start saving money. You're going to start really enjoying the fruits of your labor. With the money that you have, I feel like you're going to put some towards to invest some to save for a rainy day long term. You're going to put some money aside to um, go on vacation. You're just going to start being really, really responsible. You're going to start forecasting expenses, setting up budgets too. In other words, you're going to be able to relax your shoulders and really enjoy life. Now, this is highly connected to the emperor too, being very structured and disciplined too. And it's going to pay off, Sagittarius. Your hard work, your dedication is going to pay off and you're going to get your happily ever after with the Ten of Cups here. So overall, Sagittarius, you have an excellent month for September 2023. Remember, the only thing I will say with your energy, with the Five of Wands here, yes, if there are arguments, do not get involved. It's not worth it. And with the Page of Swords, there could be some delays too. Don't forget. There could be some issues, trying people trying to get back to you also. But do not worry. Things are going to look absolutely great. I'm going to take out one more card as advice for Sagittarius 2023. So the, one card for advice. Oh, this one wants to pop out. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is brand new beginnings in terms of money. Sagittarius, whatever you're uh, working on, whatever ideas you have to create something amazing, whether it's a side business, an online business, uh, a YouTube channel, whatever it is you want to do, it's going to be fantastic. Remember, Pentacles, it, it does 
it will take time. Have patience, keep working, keep practicing what you are doing, and you will see the fruits of your labor too. Always protect your goals and your dreams, and you will see this brand new beginning of the Ace of Pentacles coming to fruition. This is excellent, Sagittarius. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me in this reading. I wish you the absolute best for September, and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.